Hi guys, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Today we are doing a sew along for Simplicity 9229. Um, I know in one of my videos I said I was going to cut it out in red, but I decided against it. Um, and I cut it out in the blue fabric that I showed you in the studio vlog. So here's the top. Um, hopefully by the end of this video, I will have taken pictures in this top. Anyway, um, so yes, I decided against the red because when I was watching, um, the, uh, five questions, one take videos, um, someone talked about the red dress project that they do at the end of the year. So I might participate in that. So I want to save the rest of my red fabric because I still have a lot of it left. I still have about two and a half yards left of it. So I figure I, I can get a dress out of that if I decide to participate. Um, so that's why I decided against the red fabric. So doing this blue fabric and everything that you need, your instructions, um, the type of fabric it calls for, the notions you need. Um, I don't really think you need any notions for this. Anywho, <laughs> everything you need, make sure you look at your um, pattern instructions on the back of your pattern envelope for your sizing and everything you need. Your seam allowance, all of that is in the pattern. Um, the pattern has five pieces. It has a front, a side front, a back, sleeves, and a neck band. This is a very easy sew. I've probably talked about this already in um, the other video where I sewed the red and black one. Um, but this is a very easy sew. It's very um, beginner friendly, easy to cut out and sew. This could very well be a two hour project um, from cut to finish. So um, let's get started. All right, so we got our pieces here. This is my neck band. Piece number four my sleeve, piece number five, my side front, um, piece number two, the front, piece number one, and the back piece, piece number three. So I'm going to set my back piece and my sleeve aside. And I'm going to take my neck band. You cut your neck band on the fold. Should have been cut with right sides facing. So you're just going to pin the free end. You have a notch here, so you pin that. Take it to the sewing machine and sew down that edge. Take your front piece, your piece number one. All right, open it up. And you should have some notches on each side, right? So here and here. All right, so with your side fronts, you want to make sure um, that you are pinning at your notch. So with your side front, let me get the pattern piece. Right. With your side front, this is this will be part of your underarm sleeve, meaning this will be your side seam. So this in the curve, this is where you want to make sure you're pinning the curve on your front piece. All right. So you should have two notches. Right. So you should have two notches on this side 
and one notch on the other side. So that's how you know you're pinning in the right spot. You make sure you pin um, the side with the two notches. Right? And this little peak right here will meet up with this underarm curve here. Right? So that's how you know you're pinning. And then it falls right in place also. Um, if you were to pin this side, if you were to pin it wrong, and you know that you're pinning it wrong because this will be shorter. It won't, it won't reach all the way to the end of your front piece. So that's how <laughs> um, you know whether you pinned it right or not. Um, one clue, you got two notches to line up. The other one is... If your side front is too short, then you know you need to flip it and pin the other side. Hopefully that makes sense. But you continue to pin all the way down. Right, and you're going to sew down that edge. You'll do the same thing to the other side front. All right. Once you finish pinning, grab your front and also grab your neck band. Alright, so now that we added our side fronts to our front, it should look like an entire 
front bodice piece. All right. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my back piece and I'm going to place it with right size facing and I'm going to pin at the shoulder seams. You should have a notch, pin at your notch, and pin the other side the same way, take it to the sewing machine, and so your shoulder seams together. our front and back bodice sewn together at the shoulder seams go ahead and grab your sleeves I'm gonna set my neck band aside take your bodice and with the right side facing up go ahead and open it up right so you see your underarm curve Bring this down and also make sure you all can see me. Right? So open it up. This is your shoulder seam. Our right side is facing up. And you got your curve here. Grab one of your sleeves and make sure it's the right one. So I have one notch over here and I have two over here. So I need to find the sleeve that corresponds with that when I place it with the right sides facing. Right, so here's my sleeve. I have my two notches here, my one notch here. I'm gonna go ahead and match up my notches. to continue to pin my sleeve. You should have other markings on your sleeve as well as guides. Those little circles on your pattern piece, those are guides. I know I always forget to say this sometimes, but make sure when you sew a seam, you press the seam. <laughs> make your garment look more professional and not homemade. Especially with this, because you have that um, side front piece, you want to make sure you press that. does make it look so much better.
right? It looks all wonky now, but <laughs> take it to the sewing machine and just sew around your sleeve and pin and sew the other sleeve the same way. Alright, we got our sleeves attached. So, with right sides facing, we're going to pin all the way down our side seams. Alright, so, if your shirt is this way, Right, there's your sleeve. I always grab the center of my sleeve and just bring it together. Right, right sides facing. Right. Then I pin under the arm. You should have notches on your bodice piece. Here. You should also have notches on your sleeve. So, this is what it should look like. From your sleeve, you pin all the way down the side seam. You're going to take it to the sewing machine and you're going to sew from the sleeve all the way down the side seams. And you're going to pin the other side the same way. Make sure your right sides are facing.
we got our side seams done and what I went ahead and did just to save myself some time um, I did my pressing but I also pressed my hem for my sleeve and the hem for the bottom um, I usually eyeball it but you definitely um, should use you know like a guide a seam guide or something like that I don't know if that's what they're called a uh, little thing that you stick there and it has a little blue thing you move up and down can't think of what the name of it is right now <laughs> it'll um, you know give you correct measurements so I'm gonna turn this to the right side and I just did the pressing on my hem that way I know I'll have a guide when I get ready to sew my hem so I'm just gonna turn this to the right side real quick and you see that little line there when I get ready to sew my hem I hope you can see the little line <laughs> that little line get ready to sew my hem I'll have a little guide so turn your shirt to the right side grab your neck band and we sewed this earlier in the video put it right sides facing and you sewed down that edge so you take it to the ironing board you fold it in half with the wrong sides facing and you press I always do this and make sure neck bands look so so nice and neat all right so turn my shirt over so that the back side is facing up still right sides facing you have your neck band and you have two notches on your neck band that's the back of your neck band and two notches on the back of your shirt so just scrunch up your shirt a little bit and just place your neck band over it and your shirt through it <laughs> over and through it <laughs> and match up those notches and then pin your neck band all the way around you may have to do some pulling and stretching you may not to make your neck band fit but pin your neck band all the way around and you'll have three layers so make sure you're getting all three of those layers in there alright and don't forget you're pinning your neck band to the right side of your top I realize how dark this fabric looks on camera. It looks like black on camera. Right after you sew your neck band. After you sew your neck band, um, I have a serger so I serge mine and then I flip it up and I just do some um, top stitching around my neck band. Sometimes I do under stitching, sometimes. And I just do some top stitching um, around my neck band just to kind of make sure it lays down and stays in place. So. That's what you'll see me doing on camera when I'm done with my neck band. And once I'm done with my neck band, I'm going to turn my shirt back to the wrong side 
and I'm going to sew my hems in my sleeves and my at the bottom. And you'll see me doing that at the sewing machine. Hopefully, hopefully the camera's aim well enough so you can see it. All right, take this to the sewing machine and sew around. Alright, she is done. Um, I will try, try, try my best <laughs> to take photos in this top before I post this video. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I am going to make a real effort to do that for you guys. Um, but here's the finish um, top. I After I sewed on the neck band and then I did the top stitching around, I went ahead and hem the bottom and the sleeves. All right, guys, that is it. That is um, the top all made up. Hopefully you can see everything in the video. Um, I did, didn't realize I was almost finished that this fabric looks very dark on camera. Um, so, um, yes, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, <clears throat> and I will pop pictures up at the end of the video so you all can see what it looks like on. And hmm, anything else I need to tell you? 
I don't think I need to tell you anything else. I um, didn't have any issues sewing it up. Um, very easy sew. I feel like I could make a lot of these tops because I love the fit of this top. And I could wear it with jeans. I could wear it with slacks, a skirt. Um, very, very versatile pattern. I like it. I like it. I like um, nice tops that fit me and the neckband is not wonky and all that stuff. So this pattern, <laughs> Simplicity 9229, is a hit in my book. <laughs> all right. So question of the day. Uh, let's see. What movie did you love the original but hate the sequel? Hmm. I've seen a lot of movies in my day. <laughs> um, love the original, but hate the sequel. Hmm. I'll say The Matrix, but not The Matrix Reloaded, which was the sequel. Um, the third installment. I watched it anyway because I was a big Neo fan. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see what was going to happen. Um, but of course, um, the original matrix, best of the trilogy, cannot wait till the new one comes out. Um, but the original one, best of the trilogy, the second one, it kind of fell off a little bit. It wasn't as good as the first one. Um, and you would think it would, would have been because, you know, I watched this movie. I can't remember when it came out, but I remember I was in Augusta. I was in my room. I had like a little 13 inch TV. <laughs> yeah, I think, yep, yeah, it was about 13 inches. I don't even know. The t I think the TV was black and white. It might have not been. <laughs> it just, just may have been the way the Matrix looked on the TV, but it was teeny tiny. I was sitting on the end of my bed and I was watching this movie. I was like, what is this movie? It was so good. I had never seen it. Um, it was 19, it was new year's eve 1999 i remember specifically because you know the whole y2k thing everybody thought was you know <laughs> so i was like well, i might as well stay home and, and not go out just in case something does happen i'm gonna sit here in my house and watch tv so found the matrix i like keanu reeves so i was like okay you know let me watch this see what it's about and i love things sci-fi and weird and all of that so I really enjoyed that movie. Um, so you would think that it came out in the 90s. The sequel would have been a little bit better because te technology was better, improved. But it wasn't a bad. Relo Reloaded was not a bad movie. I like Reloaded. Just wasn't as good as the first one. So hate is a strong word. But the Matrix Revolutions? There's certain parts I like, but I just, I don't want to uh, give the movies away because I don't, spoiler alert, I don't know who, who's seen the movies, all of the movies, if you plan on watching them, so I don't want to give anything away, but that third one was slow, it dragged, I don't like, I don't like what happened to certain characters, <laughs> I almost gave a spoiler away, um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. Can't wait until The Matrix 4 comes out. Hopefully, it'll be out soon. I, can't, I don't know the release date of it, but I cannot wait till it comes out because the trailer, it looks amazing. So, yeah, that's my movie. What is your movie? The movie where you love the original and you hated the sequel. And hate is a strong word. You can just say I didn't like it as much. <laughs> All right. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one.